Amen. I, I ministered last night, what, after three, something like that? Yes. Four weeks after three, yeah. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> so you can imagine. But yet the Lord has given me a word. If God has not given me a word, somebody else would have to preach tonight. But the Lord has given me a word. So I, I'm going to need your help to get you justice. My word tonight is give us justice. The sum of what you have been through in life. You never do nobody nothing. You never harm nobody. People come into your life and hurt you. Man or woman, family member, friend. Some have been raped, some have been spit upon, some have been abused. And you need justice. Yes. When it's help me say justice, no? No man, we need it. All that you have been through, you get in your reward tonight. Can I prophesy to the church? We're getting a breakthrough tonight. Hallelujah. Uh, it's it too simple to just believe God in what God said. But you're honored this roof, and if you're a believer, you're going to get what God said you will get. God, we serve a God that never paid. If you serve a simple God, I serve a mighty God. tonight to get yourself ready the word going to soul and some will fall on good ground they will bear fruit you will see the manifestation hallelujah this month not going to over before you see some manifestation of tonight Justice. Not about to avenge your adversary. It's in the name of Jesus. Not about to tie you up and bury you. Justice. Not about to walk over your justice. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. We rip the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can be seated in the presence of the Most High God. Turn the Bible with me. To Luke chapter 18, 1 and 8, and I take time out to greet God and His people. Amen to my presiding elder, young man of the Lord. Put your arm together for him. So we're getting married. Praise the Lord. And to my elder Campbell, praise the Lord, Minister Campbell, Pastor Powell, Minister Gale, Minister Hines, Pastor Hines, praise the Lord to all the officers and members, well wishing friend and former vice can reach, young Pastor Ryan. We we talking about it was yesterday or day before yesterday. We talk and forward, amen. And we have a good talk. And I hear you say something that you are coming out of Pentecost. Pentecost is a day. It's not a religion, it's not a faith. Okay? It's a day. So you cannot come out of a day, you wasn't in the day. The day of Pentecost is when it's a form of a peace. Okay? Right. Okay. Now, I believe in the name of Jesus. I baptize in the name of Jesus. We baptize. God did we baptize in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. But we are revival. So my faith is in Christ Jesus. We believe salvation is given to no other but through Christ. At the name of Jesus, Amen. every knee shall bow and every, every tongue must confess. Amen. That is our faith. Amen? Amen. But our calling is revival. We have a revival calling in our life. Amen. Amen. 
So you're not really coming out of friendly cars. All right, as you see it as it's because I know it today. But as you see it, you're not coming out of the praise of God. You're just obeying your calling. Amen? Amen. You're staying in your calling. Amen. You're being who you are. Amen? Amen. Because the calling of God is from your birth. Yes. This gift that you have gotten is from your birth. Yes. You're born with it. Amen. Revival work is a prophetic work. Yes. They go in the prophetic way that the is why when you say something to somebody, it comes to a pass. Amen. Because that calling is on your life. Many are called, you are but you are chosen. You are chosen. Because you are chosen, God will use you mightily. Yes, church. Amen? Amen. It's time for the people who have a prophetic calling on their life. Whenever you have a prophetic calling on your life, you have to go on a prophetic leader. Amen. That's right. True. Amen? Amen? You have to have a leader that will feed you you cannot, I can, I tell them that I, I, I grow pastor, because I'm a pastor. If I'm, I'm a mango tree, we can go orange. I get mango. Somebody praise the Lord. And if you find yourself on a leader that is not able to travel to prophetic anointing and dwell in the prophetic anointing. Amen. You know the one that my son of a church don't get, sir? That far, Bishop Baker. I will need this over me and warn him. Somebody praise the Lord. Amen. Lift your hand and praise the Lord for Jesus. Amen. So, my brother, welcome to worship with us. Amen. Amen. I hope you were. Yeah. yeah, that man's preacher, sir. I have testimony. The Lord tell me to go to tell him that he had to preach the gospel. And he's going to be an apostle. He healed the sick. When I go to his yard, I said, God sent me to you. You were doing this here, unsaved, in the world. And he, I think he was baptized, and then he, he followed up for eight years. That's all. Mm. And I go to his home. Oh, can I testify a local person? No yes, yes, yes. And he, he's doing his ear, he said, um, you want to? He said, no. And I said, do you hear? I wait. Myself, Father God, no? Amen. And... That is his father. His father, his father is an apostle now. His own ministry now. His father, and and of raising the son now. Hallelujah. Raise the father. I raise the son. My God. And I wait. And in him doing air and everything. I said, my time. He said, God sent me to tell you that you have to preach the gospel and all that. He said, what proof or evidence that I have? To say that the Lord sent me. So you have a friend here. I say, your friend failed all the Ghost. He said, no. Have you ever been a person? He said, no. He said, okay, I'm going to lay hands on him. That he received the Holy Ghost. So I lay hands on him. He received the Holy Ghost. After speaking in tongues. And he gets in the Holy Ghost too. Start speaking in tongues. And now he's going to pass. He's going to pass. Hallelujah. May he not have a Bible again. Because he says, may the God start. Hallelujah to God. But... He's my son in the Lord. He's preaching the gospel. Yes. And not everybody going to stay. Yes. Some going to stay. Some going to go. Yes. Some going to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But the key is, he's gaining soul in the kingdom of God. That's what he's doing. I remember we meet him at one of the stores and all that. He said, you know, I have a church. Here in, in Kingston, I have a church here too. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And, and then my son said, Yes, and it's ready, and it's about the wedding. Anyway, praise God. We're going to, we're going to buck up again in, in, in the field. Amen. Put one together for the young pastor. I appreciate it. You know, you know I just see a tent, and I, and I see a lot of young people. Going to come and join you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I have, I have another scripture song in St. Anne. Here is the bar. I have a tent meeting. And I come and say, The Lord of a corner, and you're like, Is it a tent here? Yeah? You're going to have to do it too. Years after, he come to church. He said, You know, I, I obey the calling. I have the tent. I am doing what you're saying. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Let 
me and say, give me justice, give me justice. Give me justice. And just say, no, until the name of Jesus. Come on. Jesus. Jesus. What we got to preach about? Let me read. May the Lord have his blessing upon his word. And he speak a parable unto them to the end that they ought always to pray and not faint. Saying, there was in a city a judge who feared not God or regard not man. And there was a widow in the city, and she came up unto him, saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Give me justice in other words. And he would have not for a while. But after he said within himself, Though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow trouble me, I will avenge her. Let she swear me out by a continual. Wear me out by a continual coming. That means, in spite of I don't want to do this anyway, I have to give it because I don't want to wear me out. Every day I come and say, give me vengeance. Give me justice. I am not going to wear me out. Give me vengeance. Give me justice. I have not done this man no harm. When this man come and take away my me, me children, them, discharge them, make them lose their mind. He come and mess with my money and mess with my life. And how many people have gone to hell? Oh, amen. I'm, I'm going to help you because you're going to sit there and look at me. Then I'm going to start here and just talk and go home. So you better open more than best God tonight. Tonight is for you. Yet, yeah, therefore, this will trouble me and avenge her, lest she swim, wear me out, rather, for our continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust said. And shall not God avenge his elect? Say, I'm elected. I am chosen. So that cry to him day and night, yet he is long suffering over them. That means to say, listen, when is elect, when those who are called by God call day and night, he will what? He will avenge us. He will give us what we need. Amen? Amen. Verse 8, I, I said unto you, hear this, that he will avenge them speedily. Receive this in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He will come to your refuge speedily. He will heal you speedily. He will deliver you speedily. He will bless you speedily. I'm just prophesying at the church now. I'm tired. We need you tonight. We don't need you tonight. We need you tonight. Amen. Because I'm not a dead preacher. Praise God. Then the son of the man coming, he shall find faith on earth. Listen, tell him never said, I believe in God. And if God don't find no faith in you, he's going to find faith in me tonight. The son want God to move mountain for you. And you don't have no faith. You don't have no worship. You don't have no amen. You don't have no faith for Jesus. You don't have no faithfulness inside of you. God have done something yesterday. And you have not yet been done for it. When you come on back to the world, lift up your hand and become the praise God. And thank God you are alive. Thank God you are in good health. Thank God. Every one of you. Let 
tell the neighbor, say, neighbor, I'm a warrior on my knees. Go on my knees. When the sun rises, when problems come, when trouble come, go on my knees. I talk to Jesus. I talk to him. I cry to him. I will look up to the hills. Say, hell. Hell, no. Hell. And then I stop until you hell.
You have to take that money and change all that money and make more money and the money. You have everything piled up and now don't know where just me and my brother and every day. If you have one bar with the money, and every day you take out one cent, and you know I'm putting it on. You have to do it. Take that money and turn it around. Invest it and increase it. So we tell the name and unlock your money when you come and say, Can you hear me? Hallelujah. When you leave a man, I tell you, I don't see this man, but it just have to take a flight. You know what I mean? Your man has some pain all over, just gone. I see people come and chirp and they come and collect. So every time they go home, this is a great testament to come with good problem. I know you are true fans. Somebody praise the Lord. Listen, all land people get land enough. Yes. Now believe me. Well, we have, we have our own big elevation testimony. I've been physically with our child. Big breakthrough testimony. You're not land to give, you're not money to give. Give one look of praise, no? Mm. You never know, say, I still money to tell you to testimony. Yeah. We don't talk about this. Hallelujah. <laughs> Giving. What is God in habit? In habit what? The praise of the people. And then we are not really temple for us to come in and walk. Praise. You can praise God by yourself, you know. You know, look how much you have to praise God. You can have your house to praise God, you chop one down to praise God, and let your house become a house of God as well. Somebody praise the Lord to you. But all of us can pull up the house, so we have to build one place that we all can come together. Hallelujah. And praise God. So praise Him again. 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 Praise Him again.
Jesus is healing the boat. Say the Jesus and the daughter is sick at home. And I need some healing.
mission of tonight that God is in cheating me. You, you, you to continue pray. Mommy, continue pray. To you. Hallelujah. The Lord said, sing a song to you. When I do the best. Everybody, we praise for you. 
praise for yourself. If you don't praise God, you might have rise up all that stone. And you might stand on your seat and praise. Because we have to get the glory and the praise of it. Somebody praise the Lord.